Today I'm gonna go over uh, Act One for the Gauntlet. And I'm gonna go over some like tips and tricks. I'll run through the whole act. I've been practicing uh, pretty much during uh, this time, and I thought, well, why not make a video about it? So we're gonna be leveling as uh, Essence Drain uh, Shadow, but unfortunately, uh, you can't really do it until Act Three when you get the uh, Spell Slinger. So what you do here is you start out. The um, scary thing about uh, the Gauntlet is well, obviously these mods. Now Act One, in my opinion. Uh, in my practice, I think Act 1 has been the hardest, because once you get to Act 3, you get the uh, Soul Rend and Essence Drain and Spell Slinger, uh, which makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to go over some tips and tricks here in Act 1, uh, if you're leveling as Essence Drain, but you can see this like a, uh, a guide for just leveling up. Um, now basically... What you do with Hillock is, as you can see, I'm running around him, which means every time he strikes, I strike him. So pretty straightforward, the uh, Twilight Strand. It's not harder than this, just keep waltzing around him. You know, not really the hardest. But if you don't know this trick, you're going to have a pretty bad time. So you get to the Twilight Strand, Lionize Watch, and you go over to... I usually take these out, keep the lesser support, talk to Tarkleg, take any, oh, and just sell everything as such. And then you buy a... well, <laughs> no luck here. Usually you want a bow with uh, two green, but we're going to have to settle with wool gloves. Put in the lesser support. Talk to Nessa. Buy caustic arrow. We have this. And you also need a bow, that's why I forgot to buy it. They're all pretty bad, just take any. Go off to the coast. The coast is pretty hard if you get the cannibals that shoot uh, the fireballs. Can end pretty bad. But what you do here is you just shoot and run. You know, shoot, run, shoot, run. Try to get to um, the mud flats as soon as possible. You really don't have to over level here. Um, the hard thing about Act 1 is, in my opinion, you're so weak, like you really just have to go fast and just don't try to not stop. I'm gonna go over the um, essential tricks later on. Like uh, Merveil is it's it's crucial that you get the um, cap on the cold rest. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna die. But yeah, just you know, shoot, run. Shoot, run, put down your poison clouds, just run away. And as I said, try to get to the mud flats as soon as possible. Now, what you do here is you go directly to the mud flats because you want level 4 uh, for some of the Quicksilver flask affixes. I, I think it cannot be frozen. Is um, I think it's level 4. I'm not 100% though. Um, wands are good to pick up because you, uh, at this item level, what you uh, gotta do is, or if you get lucky, you can get a plus one uh, wand. Uh, I think it cancels out, like, at level 12 you get a lot of mods, like this one. Got pretty lucky here. To be honest, if I was running the gauntlet and this had chaos damage, 
uh, OnePlus level to Chaos, I definitely do that. Especially this early on, you just lose if you if you complete the ultimatum, you know you're gonna get a sick wand, and if you die, you know it's just like ten minutes. So a good tip here is to kill the Roas before you destroy the nest because they get enraged. You saw that one run past me. Uh, they get enraged and they deal quite a lot of damage and if you get stunned, you're pretty much dead. So try to clear the Roas around. Just be a bit careful. see they're pretty tanky you can see that's a lot of damage but like I said just clear around them and you'll be fine no problem uh, now the first time I did practice I went from I think my first and best time in act one was about three hours <laughs> or one two two out no 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 that's not right like two hours or so at the first time uh, obviously not a good time at all but I have no hardcore experience and to be honest the mods they add are super hard like if you're not prepared you're not gonna know what kills you you're not gonna know pretty much anything is that the glyph might be so anyways it's just try to be careful you know you're you're in no rush it's it's solo self found so you're not going to have like there's no rush to get to trading or trading maps just try to be as you can see they're all in rage now so they this one watch out for this guy because he does a lot of damage if he catches you you're going to get stunned 100% and you're probably going to die But yeah, like right now, I'm in no rush. Um, just trying to, uh, it's kind of hard doing this at the same time as you're talking. But, you know, no rush, just go slow. Try to be careful. It doesn't really get hard until you get to Mervale. And uh, after Mervale, it's when it gets like... Kind of rippy. Uh, a good skill to pick up here is puncture. It's really, really good uh, because you can. Hmm, it's bad bows. Not lucky with the links. Take this puncture, and you want lesser poison with puncture. I can't even ID that. But yeah, you go back to. Ah, oh, it's the wrong. You go back to the coast at uh, after level four. And just run straight to, uh, I think he's, it's Hailrake, right? Yeah. Just like before, put down some poison clouds and just keep on trucking. You know, nothing really hard yet. I'm going to show you why Puncture is strong after I kill these guys. Okay, so what you do is you put a Puncture on him. As you can see, he's just running. And you know, it's a good uh, damage over time. And what you can do here is log out and get back. And you save a portal scroll. Not really super, super important, but it might be good. And you caustic arrow uh, links with Pierce. Just be, uh, because of the quality of life. This on. I can sell this blacksmith footstone for. Hmm. Nothing good here. What you can also do, um, because of your level, you can check the vendors. Like, let's see if I get no nothing.
but you can get those plus one ones, which uh, are actually great early game. And just keep on going. Like what you want to do basically is just don't stop. Got it pretty good. Well, the depths here, pretty good layout. But yeah, like I said, you don't want you don't want to stop. You just want to keep on going and kill while you go. Um, a good skill to pick up if you're leveling a shadow is the uh, blood siphon. It's going to be really good for early game leveling, and you're going to want it anyways. But you'll see what I mean later on that you get 10 HP when you kill a monster. So what I usually do here, just clear, not really everything, but just until I get to the boss. And this boss is fairly simple. Just put a puncture on him and then just run around him, you know. Uh, an important thing in the gauntlet, which I've noticed while I've been practicing, is you honestly never want to stand still. Uh, if you stand still, you're probably going to die. Just a disclaimer. Back to the submerged passage. Coordination. And then just like I said, run through everything. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, the practice, if, if you're going to play the gauntlet, I'd recommend you doing some practice. Just the first, like, couple of acts. Because I think once you get... I think act three is like the changing factor. Like, when you get to act three... If you just keep yourself like a bit over leveled and you just play safe, you're probably going to get pretty far. It doesn't get super hard until I'd say Act 7 later on. So Act Act 3 it's a good it's a good uh, like point to uh, practice on. Just get through the first act. Because it, later on your character gets strong anyways. But here you're just, you know, some weak dude running around. So we're currently on 12 minutes, which isn't too bad. I wouldn't say it's the best time ever, but it's decent enough. This is a weird ledge layout. Um, ledge is actually the the first um, layout or you know area in which uh, it gets rippy during the gauntlet. Uh, what you're gonna have to look out for, I don't know. We'll see it soon, maybe. But the goats, the jumping goats, are actually super rippy. So if you ever see them, I'm going to see if we get them. They're going to be uh, on the next zone as well. Yeah. Here they are. Let's see now. I don't want to. But they're dangerous because they leap at you, and you know, at this level, with these mods, I'm gonna see if I can get one to jump me. Oh. He missed. Not gonna work. But anyways, they jump at you, and they do a lot of damage, so be careful around the goats. Do not get too close and you have frost blink so if you see them jumping just go back you know but yeah is here you just shoot it's the same it's the same thing as before and pretty much whole of act one is going to be like this you just run through everything 
Don't stop for bosses. Oh, there was a leap. Oh, you see, you got to be careful around these goats. They are super dangerous. That's some decent links. The climb also super rippy. You're going to see why in a few seconds. Um, yeah, you're going to in act one, you're going to have to do some manual dodging. And that's uh, since you don't really know what's difficult and what's not or what's dangerous, rather, you're going to have to learn it. Like I've died, you know, I started practicing a week ago, maybe. And I've died probably 20 times, at least 20 times. So don't get discouraged, you know, just keep on trucking. Uh, my best act one time is 32 minutes, I think. And uh, feels good once you get there. This guy, super rippy. If he, you know, whenever you get to him, just cross blink away. Um, this guy as well. You can see, you see, you see that damage. That's why you should watch out for the goats. They're super, super rippy. But yeah, I tried to clear around here just to have like, so I can run away from the goat guy early on. Level 9 prison. It's pretty good. I'm pretty overleveled. No bigger problems, really. What I do is I go down to the Entropy, just because that uh, extra damage against uh, Brutus. Uh, he can also be a bit rippy. But yeah, you know, um, I've already done the trials on my uh, other characters, but I'm just going to run through them anyways. Oh, my days. Yeah. Spooky. My life flasks are bad as well. You want the bigger life flasks, but... Just gonna have to come later on. So yeah, it's the same concept, just shoot. And you know, they're gonna die even with the 40% HP uh, buff, the 40% more monster life. They're gonna die. So just try to shoot, you know, one arrow, run, you know, they all die. So just try to not stop. Um, this guy, by the way, let's see if I can show you. Chatters, super rippy. Try to skip him if you can. He almost one-shots you at uh, this level, so not really worth it. In the upper prison, uh, when I'm playing Edie, I usually try to get one more level on my uh, essence, uh, not ED, uh, on my caustic arrow. So I'm well prepared for um, Brutus. I'm gonna see if we get it. You can go without, but I just like the extra damage that you get. But yeah, same here. Uh, try to grab all the orb of transmutation that drops because you're gonna need them to craft the uh, cold wrist later on. Which you will need for Mervail. The same concept. Oh, nice. Uh, flasks, by the way, super valuable. Very, very good. Now, as long as you just keep your distance, fire, keep your distance, fire, you're going to be fine. 
because the the, the monsters in Act One aren't really super uh, dangerous. They're more like, more of a nuisance. As you can see, here, my caustic arrow is almost level five, um, and that's what I meant with uh, trying to level it up before I get to Brutus. You know, just another three link. No, links are pretty good as well. You're gonna want at least two, uh, two three links uh, is optimal, but kind of hard to get early on. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get the last bit of XP here for the caustic arrow. Um, doesn't look like it, but you know it's fine. It's really no problem. Just it's easier with the uh, points. We're currently sitting at 20 minutes, 15 seconds. Like I said, the, my best time after doing Act 1 about... I'd say 20 times is 32 minutes, uh, which I think is reasonable uh, because I have no uh, hardcore experience. You know, I've never played a gauntlet and I tend to get overconfident. Okay, so what you do here is you go in, try to be a bit careful, try to get the first puncture in. Watch out for the... Uh, this slam can one shot. So try to be... Just a bit careful. You can put the puncture on and just run. You see that? If he would have hit me there, I would have been dead 100%. So try to be as careful as possible. This one also one shots, uh, at least from what I've seen. And there you go, that's Brutus down. Just like I said, try to get a puncture in on him and just run around. If you're really nervous, never stand still. But it's not too hard. He's not the uh, hardest boss if you're running puncture. What you do now is you go back to Lion Eyes Watch. Pick up that smoke mine. And you can also check out if Tarkley has a better bow, which he does not. Also try to check uh, your vendor for movement speed boots, which is the runner runner's uh, mod. But unfortunately, he didn't have any. So what you do here is you sell the blue and yellow items. Void manipulation here, super strong for caustic arrow. I'm gonna see if we have a wand we can pick up. Nope, no wand. So this one here is Void Manipulation, Pierce, and Caustic Arrow. This is the optimal three link early on. And then you're going to have your Puncture and your Lesser Poison. See if you can fit in that. And then you can go Smoke Mine on. Wherever you prefer, but I honestly prefer R. I'm used to it. And detonate mines on left mouse click. So if you throw it, you're gonna instantly pop it. This zone, as you can see, also super dangerous. Try to be careful here. I've died a couple of times in a Prisoner's Gate because here is. Oh my days. This is where the monsters start to do some um, elemental damage. And also you have the leaping goats, and you also have the hounds that drop uh, flaming ground. If I can see if I can, yeah, it does fair fair bit of damage. So, but yeah, same same concept here. Just drop and run, drop and run. Try to be on the move always, like I said. The unique bosses, try to skip them if you can. There's really no point in battling them. So yeah, try to find this opening. Just be careful, you know. Like I said, it's no race here. You know, you set your own. You set your own like goals for this league. Um, 
Like, if you're in no rush, you can just try to go slow, slow, slow. But I want to get, you know, good time, so it's why I've been practicing pretty much. I want to push myself. But yeah, even with... I have 7k hours in PoE. You know, even with that, it's super, super hard. Like, you're not prepared at all for what's going to happen, but try to make the best of it. Level 12, pretty good level for um, for the ship graveyard, I think. 24 minutes, also pretty decent. It's not the best time in the world, but, you know, you can live with that. So what I usually do here is that... Let's transmute uh, a switchstone. Still pretty good to go back and pick them up. Try to get some more life. Yeah, what I usually do here is, if I can, find the ship stuff. So, I don't know what it's called. But here, you have the Cavern of Wrath here. So what I usually do if I haven't gotten the skill point is I go in, pop the waypoint, and go back out and try to find the All Flame. Don't know if it's faster, but it usually works for me. You go in Ship Graveyard Cave, that's what it's called. You go in here. Pop monsters. Now, these ones are also dangerous, the Flicker Strike ones, but they don't really do enough damage to kill you unless you get, like, popped by all of them. But usually there's, like, no bigger problem here. Try to be careful around them. Like, I'd imagine if they, all of them jumped you, you'd probably die, but it's not the world's biggest thing. As you can see, the puncture does pretty good damage if you have a mob running after you. So, I definitely like to save um, the puncture in my, in my uh, skills. Just as a damaging skill. I think it's pretty good. So this one, you can skip. Go out. Exit. And you go back in. And this is also where you get... When you go in, you pick up Toxic Rain. See if this guy has a bow. Which he doesn't. But it's fine, it's no problem. Well, it is a problem, but we're, we're gonna have to fix that later on. Go back to the ship graveyard. Because now you know where uh, Fear Graves is. Oh, 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 that's big. That's actually huge. Usually do just be a bit careful of the SRS. Pop on a puncture on him and just like run around. There we go. This one really good for exsanguinate, um, but it's yeah, it's it's like these ones you're looking out for. Either fizz damage over time or chaos damage over time. Uh, obviously not fizz damage over time if you're running ED, but chaos damage over time is actually huge for damage. So, like I said, keep your eyes open. See if he has a bow. No, he does not. He just didn't even have anything. Um, I would buy that, but it's not good enough. It's not really much I can do at this point. What you're going to have to do here before you go and fight Merveil is try to get Sapphire Rings. This one would work. However, the suffix, uh, the suffix is locked, so you can't craft Coldress. So you're going to have to grab this one. 
as such. And as you can see, we have 25 cold rests. And that's when you have to go to your hideouts. And what you have to do here is craft on. Um, this mod, I think, unlocks at level 12. So it's like, it's not like you're, you know, using old crafts. You, you, you get it unlocked at level 12. And since I don't have augmentations in my inventory, I'm not going to cheat and use the ones I have, but you could aug them just uh, for to get like something else. So you have uh, 64 cold dress. Now, I, I, I'd really want 75, but, you know, you can't really get everything. And also, the more you level up, I'm going to show you once I kill these mods. Um, um, this one gives you four all rest. So 68, I'd say it's enough. We're going to have to see once we fight Merveil, but 68 is definitely doable. And if you don't have transmutations to craft the coldest on your gear, I'd really recommend you uh, not over uh, overstepping and don't go in and fight Merveil without 75 kills, uh, cold rest. Because even with 75, she does a lot of damage, and you're going to see it soon. Like, no, no cap at all. But yeah, 68 is fine. But like, don't go in with 40 or, you know, 35. It's just not worth it. If you get this far... You know, what's the point in throwing away, you know, 30 minutes, sure, it's not much, but I can't imagine anyone, you know, wanting to die in this gauntlet league, so, since it's hardcore. Yep. It didn't even level, so we can't really... Gonna have to do it like this, I think. It's gonna take a while to kill her. But just try to juke around and sidestep. Um, these ones, the resplendent constructs, I'd say these ones are the hardest uh, mobs. You should definitely try to. You see, you see that damage. It's a lot. Um, I'd say try to kill the resplendent constructs before you move on to Act Two or uh, Phase Two. I mean, obviously. But yeah, try to get as many down, as many of these down as possible because they do a lot of damage. So once she's phasing, just try to get them all away. You can see she's kind of dangerous. You're going to have to keep your distance because, you know, with no potions. She is hard. But definitely doable. Like that. If she freezes you and those resplendent constructs are still there, you're dead. 100%. Just try not to panic. Don't, you know, run into anything. Just keep your cool. And I think you'll be fine. Oh. 
So that's Merveil in 33 minutes. Uh, I'd say, you know, decent time. Um, not the best, obviously. But since you're running the, you know, mods, you know, you're going to want to take it a bit easy. Um, like I said earlier, you're in no rush. You, uh, there's no one chasing you, you know. You can do Act 1 in 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes, you know, as long as you don't die. Because I have a hard time remembering that too. Like, if you die, there's no point, you know, because you're dead. You're going to have to re-level. So I'd rather take 5 minutes extra, get those levels in, and, you know, then go. Instead of, you know... Trying to save five minutes and dying and then having to go over it again. So anyways, that's Act 1. 33 minutes. I'm going to do Act 2. Um, well, I'm going to record it, but yeah. Like I said, 33 minutes, pretty good time. Um, my tips for you, practice a lot. Like, like I said, I practiced. I've done this like probably about 25 times now. And I have 7,000 hours in PoE. You know, I, I die a lot. Um, tip two, have like a path of building or, you know, anything like that. Just try to remember it in your head. Try to remember what uh, items you need, what skills you have to link, what, you know, all of that. Good stuff. And step three, don't get overconfident. Really, really don't get overconfident anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys in act two in the next video and i hope you enjoyed the tips i hope you enjoyed the video please drop a comment down below um if you have any like suggestions or feedback i really appreciate that stuff anyways thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in act two in the next video